grave is there to prove my Savior leave. All right, we got Mama Cat we can look at while I do this word. And the word is knowledge. And it's on page 576 in my strongest concordance. Okay, so we're going to go with each where, where knowledge is at in each book. So it may take me a minute to find it. And the first place that knowledge is, is Genesis 2 and verse 9. And it says I need to read down to 17. Out of the ground made the Lord God to grow every tree that is pleasant to the sight and good for food. The tree of life also in the midst of the garden, and the tree of knowledge of good and evil. And a river went out of Eden to water the garden, and from thence it was parted and became unto four heads. The name of the first is Pison, and it is which can pass the whole land of Hevela, which there is gold, and the gold of that land is good, and there is bullinium and oxenstone. And the name of the second river is Gahon. The same is it that can pass the whole land of Ethiopia. And the name of the third river is Hydekil, that is which goeth towards the east of Assyria. And the fifth, fifth river is Euphrates. And the Lord God took man and put him into the Garden of Eden to dress it and to keep it. And the Lord God commanded the man, saying, Every tree of the garden thou may eat freely. But of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, thou shalt not eat of it. For in the day that thou eatest thereof, thou shalt surely die. Alright, and our next one is in Exodus and 31 and 1 through 5. And the Lord spoke unto Moses, saying, See, I have called by name Bezil and Uriah the son of Hor of the tribe of Judah and have filled him with the spirit of God and wisdom and understanding and knowledge in all manner of worship or workship workmanship to devise cutting works to work in gold and in silver and in brass and in cutting of stone to set them in a carved of timber to work all manner of workmanship. All right, our second one is Leviticus uh, 4. There's 6. Oh, come on, pages. Why do you not want to turn? I've read you all the way through, and you should be easier to turn. All right. <clears throat> And we want Leviticus 4, 22 through 24. When a ruler hath sinned and done somewhat through ignorance against any of the commandments of the Lord his God concerning things which should not be done and is guilty, or if his sins wherein he has sinned come to his knowledge he shall bring his offering, a kid goat, and a male without blemish. And he shall lay his hand upon his head of the goat, and kill it in the place where they kill the burnt offering before the Lord. It is a sin offering. Alright, our next one is on numbers. So now i got to find numbers, and we got to find 15... And that's way too far. All right, 15, and then we've got tw uh, 22 through 24. 
And if he had erred and not observed all these commandments which the Lord had spoken unto Moses, even all that the Lord had commanded, you know, so you by the hand of Moses from the day that the Lord commanded Moses and henceforth among your generation. When, let's see, then it shall be, if aught be committed by ignorance without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one young bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet savor unto the Lord, with his meat offering and his drink offering, according to the manner, and one kid of the goat for a sin offering. All right, now we got another one that's in numbers, and it's 24. <coughs> 15 through 17. And he took up his parable and said, Balaam, the son of Bor, has said, and the man whose days are open has said, or eyes are open, <laughs> he has said, which heard the words of God, and know the knowledge of the Most High, which saw the vision of the Almighty falling into a trance, but having his eyes open, I shall see him, but not now. I shall behold him, but not nigh. There shall come a star out of Jacob, and a scooper shall rise out of Israel, and shall smite the corner of Moab, and destroy all the children of Seth. Alright, now we need to go to Deut Deuteronomy, and we're going to find Deuteronomy, and we've got chapter 1, and we want the verse 39. Moreover, your little ones, which ye said should be a prey, and your children, which in the day had no knowledge between good and evil, they shall go in thither, and unto them will I give it, and they shall possess it. All right, now we're on Joshua. Oh, Joshua and Judges has no word named knowledge. All right, so now we're going to go to Ruth and <clears throat> see what Ruth has got to say. Okay. And you would think that I would be smart enough to go through and put all this down. Okay, we got Ruth chapter 2 and verse 10 and 11. Then she fell on her face and bowed herself to the ground and said unto him, Why have I found grace in thine eyes, that thou shouldest take knowledge of me, seeing I am a stranger? And Boaz answered and said unto her, It hath fully been shown me all that thou hast done unto thy mother-in-law since the death of thine husband, and how thou hast left the, thy father and thy mother and the land of thy nativity, and art come unto the people which thou knowest not, there to four to uh, to four, here to four. All right, and then it says we need to read nineteen. And her mother-in-law said unto her, Where hast thou gleaned today? And where wast thou? Blessed be he that did the knowledge of thee. And she showed her mother-in-law with whom she had wrought, and said, The man named with whom I wrought was, let's see, today is Boaz. Okay. Now we got First Samuel, and we want uh, chapter two and verse three. Take no more so exceedingly proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth, for the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by Him actions are weighed. 
Alright, we want to go to chapter 23 in 1 Samuel. Twenty-three and verse twenty-three. See therefore to take knowledge of all the lurking places where he hath himself, and come ye again to me with a certainty, and I will go with you, and it shall come to pass, if he be in the land, that I will search him out throughout all the thousands of Judah. Well, you know what? 23 does not have knowledge. Yeah, it does too. I've done read that. <laughs> Alright, let's look at 1 Kings. So, we've got 1 Kings. We want chapter 9. 6. 8. Wow. 9. There is 9. And we want 27. And Haram sent in the navy his servant, sh uh, shipman, that knowledge of the sea with a servant of Solomon. So there's another one. Okay. I'm going to call it quits right here. And I'm going to mark this. And I'm going to see what you all think about this. Put me a little mark right there in my page. And then... I'll see which one you all like the best. Hugs and kisses. If you would like to donate to Poor Man's Sewing, come down here to Poor Man's Sewing. Then come up here and look for About. And right here you can donate to the channel. And every donation is really appreciated. We thank you very much and I hope you have a blessed day.